What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at how we can create a Windows 7 WinPE boot disk. Now the last video I showed you how to do Windows 10, this one is Windows 7 and this one is a lot more difficult to create than a Windows 10 version. So you can see here the automatic installation kit, this is the bit that we need to download first. It's about 1.6, 1.7 gigs in size. So once you've got this downloaded you can put this onto your desktop here. Now you can burn this to a disk if you wish, uh, but I'm just going to quickly extract it using 7-zip. So I'm going to create a quick folder on the desktop called Automatic Installation Kit and extract all my files using 7-zip into that folder. Just locate the folder which we just created and now click OK and that will extract all the files from that ISO into that folder. This will allow us to install it without burning it to a disk. So what we're going to do next, once this is unzipped, we're going to open up the folder. Go inside here, you should see all the content. And you want to look for Start CD. If you come down here, you'll see a little executable file. Just start that up, and this will fire up the Windows Automated uh, Installation Kit. Now we want to click on this Windows AIK setup, and this will allow us to install it. This does take a bit of time, so be patient. I will speed this process up for you. Just leaving it into the defaults and for everyone is fine. Just click next and then next again and this will install it. So I've speeded this process up. It does take a fair bit of time uh, to get this installed because it's a pretty big installation. Now we can click close and we can exit out and close this off. We don't need this anymore. So you can either push the cross here or push exit, it's entirely up to you. Now if you do want to burn this ISO, just right click it and burn disk image. As you can see here, choose your burner. Verify the disk after burning, very important to make sure you don't get no corruption and then click burn and it will burn that to a disk for you. Okay, so let's move on to the next step to go down to the start button here all programs and we want to look for Microsoft Windows AIK and then you should see deployment tools command prompt right click on this and run this as administrator you should see the user account control click yes and then a prompt box will pop up here now we need to type in all our commands and these are pretty lengthy so I will speed this process up but I will put all the commands on the screen so you can see them and I will also put them in the description for you. So that's just basically copying all the files and creating a, a directory which is called WinPE. And I'll show you that in the C root directory we've just copied all the content into this folder here now. Okay, and we created that directory called WinPE. That's what that command was doing. So our next step is to do the next command. And this is going to copy our content. So we're just going to copy this path out. Now, obviously, you can change the directory name. Mine's called WinPE. You can call yours whatever you like, but I'm just going to uh, use that for simplicity. But basically you can see that's copied that across now. And you can see it's been called boot.wim. Now you can see I've plugged in my USB flash drive here and we're going to be formatting this and getting this prepared ready for our Windows 7 installation. So click on the start button here. And we want to type inside here disk part. And this is going to allow us to get our USB flash drive prepared use account control will pop up click yes now once this is open we can just drop that other one down behind there now we're using disk part here make sure it says disk part that's important that means we're using the disk part command prompt now we need to type list disk and this is going to list all the disks on that drive make sure you can see the one I've highlighted here this is my 
flash drive make sure yours is highlighted now if you've got more drives than me make sure it is the flash drive that you're selecting so we need to select that disk which is disk one as you can see here now yours may be disk two or whatever it may be now we can type clean and then press enter Now we can create our partition primary. Just type out create partition primary and you should see it saying successfully created. Now we need to activate that drive. So we're gonna type activate or active. Now we're gonna format. So you can see here format, typing this out doing quick and then giving it a label of called WinPE. That's what we've done. So basically you right click format on your drive if you wish. And this will take a bit of time. And the drive should then be formatted ready to go and it should be called WinPE. Let's take a quick look at that just to make sure as you can see here now that it's been converted to called WinPE and it's all been prepared ready. Now we need to type a sign, push enter, and it's going to assign a drive layer. Now we can type exit to close that off. We're done with this part now, and you can see the drive is there. Now there's other ways of doing this, but that I just wanted to keep it all in the command prompt uh, just to keep the video interesting. So what we want to do next is we want to come down to the start button here and we want to type CMD and you can see here we're going to right click on this and run this as administrator. Say yes to the user account control and now we're back in the command prompt. Now what we want to do next is do X copy. You've seen me use this command before and we're going to do all files make sure you've got the drive letter right it's now changed to F as you can see here so we need to make sure that we're using the right drive letter so we're going to be doing F colon and backslash then space forward slash E and this will then copy all those files across to our flash drive now you can also manually copy these across by using the copy and paste command by going to the directory where they're stored and as you can see all them files are now on our flash drive but you can as I said copy those from the directory by using the copy and paste command if you want to do that so now we have all our files inside here let's move on to the next step here I'm going to go to a C root directory you can see our directory here now what we're going to do here is you want to if you want to create an ISO file out of all these files I'll show you how to do that you can do that in the command prompt also so we're going to go back to all programs here and we're going to go to Windows A I K say yes to the user account control and this is opened up the deployment tools and command prompt now you need to type this long command out and this will then create an ISO file for you. Pretty straightforward and easy to do. Once you type that out you can see I've called mine winpe.iso. It will then complete that ISO file for you. Let's take a look at our directory. Go back inside here and you can see inside our winpe directory we can see an ISO file has now been put in there. And that is an ISO file that we've just created. Now if you want to burn that, you can burn it here by using your own burner. Pretty straightforward and easy to do. And that's basically it really. So we can exit out of here. And that's how you can create your own Windows 7 PE disk. Now my name is Brian from BrightechComputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. If you've got any problems with computers head over to the forums 
uh, it's free to join and also if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page then give us a little like up over there it's free to click as well it doesn't cost you anything so thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support bye for now